Recently, I was reading an anecdote on the internet about a mathematician who was giving a lecture to a group of sixth formers. Uh, that's about 17, 18 years old. And he was showing them that a particular sequence of numbers adds up to a certain amount, which I'm sure was a lovely piece of mathematics. But at the end of the lecture, he asked if anyone had any questions. And one of the students put up their hand and asked, what is the point of that? Now, that annoys me because I'm sure that sequence has a practical use, but you are mistaken if you think that mathematics is only for practical purposes. You see, mathematics is the intersection of many subjects, but particularly uh, science, philosophy and art. Now, the practical use of mathematics might be science and physics and mechanics and things like that, but if you only study it for that purpose, you're going to miss out on a lot of discoveries. Discoveries that might find applications after the fact. But even then, I hesitate to use that argument because, because then I'm fighting on their terms that there has to be a practical application. When the fact is, studying mathematics for its own sake is equally as valid and equally as worthwhile, even when there is no immediate practical purpose. Mathematics is a very creative subject, which might surprise you, but if you talk to mathematicians, they do talk about beauty, they talk about elegance, they talk about it like it's music, like it's art. And what's the point of music? What's the point of art? There is no practical purpose, you do it because it's clever. And the pleasure comes from creating something, something new. And to do mathematics, you need feeling, you need intuition, guesswork, and creative thought. And when I do mathematics, I, I take something from over here, and I take something from over there, and I put them together, and I create something. Something new, something original, something that has never been done before. And if you try and do this like you were some sort of robot, like you were a computer, you're not going to get very far. You see, ultimately, mathematics, it's about finding truth. And that's what it has in common with philosophy, because philosophy is the, the, the search for truth, which is why mathematics and philosophy are often studied together. Philosophy is about using logic and one statement following another in a, in a logical progression until you reach a conclusion, which should therefore be the truth. Although what we're searching for is mathematical truth, but to reduce it to practical purposes means that you're going to miss out on a lot of that truth and a lot of that beauty and a lot of that discovery.